Hi everyone, uh, my name is Seth and today I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, Microsoft System Center's Configuration Manager 2007 on, um, on a member server that is part of a domain. Right now we're looking at the domain controller, the primary domain controller and uh, after we go ahead and install the uh, SCCM the System Center Configuration Manager we're going to go ahead and do an upgrade to Service Pack 2 and then we're going to log into SCCM and we're going to do a query and we're going to go ahead and run some reports um, and then uh, in part 2 of the video I am going to show you how to uh, deploy packages and so on and so forth so right now this is the first part of the SCCM um, deployment this will be the installation of the SCCM so we're gonna go ahead and um, get started so the first thing that we need to do is create um, two groups and two accounts on the Active Directory uh, domain controller uh, these will be the uh, IDs that will be used to log in, to log in and manage SCCM and uh, manage SQL um, because you also would need SQL 2005 to install it. I'm going to go ahead and log into the domain controller. As you can see, this is my um, Active Directory. The domain that I have is Shear Technology, that's my website. So, this is my domain that I have created. You would need to have a dom domain already created, obviously. Um, and have a domain controller up and running to do this. Um, to do that, to do that, I have other videos in my series that you can look at how to um, set up, install Server 2008, um, install Active Directory, uh, install additional Active Directory machines, uh, and so on and so forth. So you can look at my other videos in there. All right. So first thing we need to do is um, we need to go into Active Directory and. Once we go into Active Directory, um, it's just I like to go into the uh, advanced features for some reason. You don't have to do that, but so what we're going to do is um, here in the root of uh, Active Directory, we're going to be creating two groups: the SCCM administrator group and the SCC um, and the SQL administrator group. So you can just you know either here or here, um, right click and go to new organizational unit and we're gonna call this this um, admin groups okay we're just gonna create create a uh, organizational new unit called admin groups uh, obviously it's protected that means if you try deleting it's not gonna let you delete it so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and it's gonna create admin group for us right here as you can see so here is the admin group account so um, we're going to go ahead and um, double click into it and right click new group we're going to call this group SCCM um, dash admin okay I'm gonna click OK we're going to right click new group call this SQL dash admin we're going to click OK so now what we're going to do is um, come into users double click on admins go to members click add and we're gonna add the um, oops uh, S C C M. we're gonna go ahead and add the uh, group SCCM group here click apply add SQL the SQL admin group so we're domain admins, members. We're gonna add the the two groups we have. We had created SQL admin and SCCM admin. Those are gonna be part of the domain admins group. Click OK. Go into users. Here we're gonna create two um, account, two user accounts. Okay. The first one is gonna be. The first account is going to be the um, SCCM admin. SCCM admin. And we're going to 
come here, CCM admin. I'm gonna hit next. We're gonna um, create a password for this. And we're gonna create another user. We're gonna call this SQL admin. And we'll call it SQL, SQL admin. Hit next. So we get a password. All right, password expire. Hit next, finish. And now we have the two accounts created. We're going to go back to admin group, SCCM admin member members. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a member, okay? Well, what are we going to add? We're going to add, um, this is the SCCM, so we're going to hit the SCCM ID, pre, uh, the SCCM admin account we're going to put in here. We're going to apply this. We're going to go to SQL, members, and we're going to add the SQL um, admin account, okay? We're going to do this. We're going to hit apply. We're going to hit OK. Now we have our two groups created, and within the two groups we have our um, two user account administ administrator accounts that we created. After we do this, now we're going to jump onto the SCCM server that I had already um, built a server, but I've not done anything else to it. And we're going to go through the prerequisites and install all the prerequisite software that is needed. All right, so I'm going to pause the video and we're going to go on to there.